I wanted to give you a brief introduction to the Excel portion of Dry Lab 1. So in the document provided, there are directions on how to use Excel. And you can walk through this step by step. And if you don't have Excel as a student, you are able to get Excel free of charge. And there's directions on how to do that. So you want to download the Excel file and follow the step-by-step -step directions that are provided to you in the procedure. So let's look at the Excel file. So in the Excel file, you are going to enter the information like it is explained to you in the procedure. So if we want to find how many days are in 20 years, we're going to put the number 20 into cell B10. So the references are for the column and the row. Okay, And then for the conversion for days to years, there are 365 days in one year. Okay. That allows us to cancel the units for years and end up with days. So if we want to enter the equation, any equation in Excel is, we have to start with an equal sign. So equals are 20 years times, which is the little star or shift eight, okay, times, the numbers on top, so we're multiplying across the top, dividing by anything that is in the denominator. So we're dividing by our one year. The one will not change our answer, but this is how we set, go about doing the multiplication and division for our problem. So if we hit enter, okay, it calculates the number of days for us. If we've done it properly, the green cell should say correct. Okay. So you're going to try that for the other two. And I know that gulps and glops are made up units. And the reason that we want you to look at gulps and glops is just to make sure that you understand the process and how to work through the dimensional analysis problems. Okay. We're also going to ask you to make a graph. So you're going to have to convert the units here from seconds to minutes. Okay, and if you want to copy that formula, you can use this little darkened square in the lower right hand corner. When your white crosshairs turns darker, you can drag that down and it copies the formula down for all of those cells. Okay, now we can insert a graph and you'll have to decide which type of graph to put in. But if you highlight those cells and go to insert, then you can choose which type of graph you want to, to plot. Okay. And you can drag that around. You can make it smaller so it fits in the square. You do want to make sure that you have chart titles and so you can either add elements through the quick layout or the plus button so we want access titles okay and then you can change those to make sure that they include the information you need including units if you want to add a trend line you can add a trend line and more options in case because we also want to include the equation of the line on the chart. Okay. And so that will give us the equation of, of our line. Okay. If you do not have a version of Excel that allows you to add the equation directly to the graph, you can also find the slope of the line by typing equals slope, which is a function. You want to choose the Y values and then a comma and choose the X values 
and it will calculate the slope for you. You can also do this with intercept. The formula then is equals and type the word intercept. And then you do the same idea where you choose the y values and choose the x values. Okay. And again, as you are doing your calculations, you're looking for those green cells to say correct. Please let me know if you have any additional questions.